Esta es tu manera desesperada Que te suene que te quiero tanto Does Lauren Asher currently only have six books out? Yes. Am I still making this video as a guide to her books? Yes. Hello, shiny bays. Hello, besties. If you have not met Lauren Asher yet, that's not what I meant. <laughs> what I meant to say was, if you have not read any books by Lauren Asher yet, then this video is for you. And even if you have read one, but you haven't read the other ones, this video is also for you. And even if you've just read it in general, but you wanna hang out with me, this video is for you. <laughs> I just wanted an excuse to talk about Lauren Asher. So do with that information what you will. Anyway, Lauren Asher is one of my favorite authors and I've done a video like this for Colleen Hoover. I've done a video like this for Mariana Zapata and those are two of my favorites. So of course, I had to do my one and only Lauren Asher. If you wanna see any more guides to different authors, let me know which ones you'd like to see. Give me some more suggestions. Lauren Asher's first series and the whole entire reason this video is being made right now is the Dirty Air series. I wanted an excuse to talk about these books because I love them so fucking much. It's my new personality trait. So of course I had to make this. I had no other choice. Dirty Air series. It is basically a series about F1 racing cars, vroom vroom. I don't know much about it. What I know I learned from this. All of these books are dual POV. And like I said, they all follow F1 racers. The first book in the series is Throttled. The second one is Collided. The third one is Wrecked. And the last and final one is Redeemed. I would definitely recommend going in order with this series. However, they are interconnected standalones. So you can read them as such if you'd like. Who I recommended though, no, because the series is so fucking good and they only get better as you go. And all the characters appear in each other's books, so it's really fun for you to get crumbs of couples as you go. And then at the end, see everybody together. Like, it's just a great experience for you to go in order. So I would definitely recommend it that way. But do whatever you want, I guess. So first up, you have Throttled, and Throttled follows Maya and Noah, and Maya's brother just gets into a team called Bandini. So Maya decides that she's going to travel the world with him and go to his races, support him, and start her YouTube career. And while she's there, she meets her brother's teammate slash rival Noah Slade. This is very much forbidden, brother's rival, brother's teammate, he changes for her. I thought this was a great start to Dirty Air. It's not my favorite in the entire series, but I still really, really enjoyed it. I rated it a four star. I loved Maya and Noah, but I didn't love the plot but I adored getting to know Dirty Air and getting to meet these characters and see where it's gonna head. I think it's such a great introduction. I would not skip this one. And Maya and Noah are amazing. So four stars for Throttle. What a great start to the series, honestly. And then you move on to Collided and this is Liam and Sophie's story. And Liam is basically like F1's player. And right now he's on very thin ice with his team because he hooked up with somebody he wasn't supposed to be hooking up with. So he decides he's going to not be with anyone for a long time. He's just gonna focus on his career. And Sophie is the rival team's leader's daughter. Hello? That was way more confusing than it should have been. Liam is on a team and the rival team, the, the head guy, what's the head guy's name? It's not Captain. <laughs> Captain's not right. <laughs> And Sophie, on the other hand, has her own thing going on because she recently made a fuck it list. It's basically um, a bucket list, but full of naughty things that she always wanted to do. When she starts traveling with her dad's team, she decides that it's the perfect time to start completing her fuck it list. But Liam finds said list and wants to help her with it. Not only do you have friends to lovers, not only do you have a little bit forbidden, you also have the whole like bucket list thing going on. This one is more on the fun side. I would say this one was more flirty and childish. I think if you like Razy from Addicted Calloway, this book would probably be one of your favorites in this series because they gave very much Razy energy. It was more on the fun side, but with some underlining heavy topics in it, you know? I also rated Collided a four star. I adored it, um, but some parts were a little bit too cringy for me. I liked Sophie and Liam, but they weren't my favorite couple ever. But I did enjoy the book in itself. It just wasn't a book that I was thinking about after I finished, you know? So four stars for Throttled, four stars for Collided. These two were very much great stars to the series. And now for the last two books in the series. The superior books, Wrecked and Redeemed. You guys, you guys listen. Everything that Throttled and Collided gave, Wrecked and Redeemed gave the complete opposite in the best way possible. These are much heavier. So if you need to search up trigger warnings for these, please do. Wrecked more than anything, this story is Jax and Elena. Basically, Jax's team has seen that he has been going downhill. He has been messing around with pills, with alcohol, partying way too much, just anything that's destructive, he has been doing it. And so they hire Elena, who is a PR person, to help with his image and help him and basically just follow him around and make sure he doesn't get into trouble. Like I said, this book is way heavier. This book does have very strong topics. Jax and Elena, my heart broke for both of them the entire fucking book. I don't think there was 
was a moment in this book that I wasn't like happy and sad at the same time. We're happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time. This one serves enemies to lovers, forced proximity, and trauma bonding. So, y'all, in this one moment, tell me I don't look exactly like a Who from Whoville or someone from the Goofy movie. Say it ain't so. Don't lie to me. This book owns my entire soul. It was amazing. Jax and Elena are some of my favorite people on the entire planet. They're not real. Mind your business. It may or may not wreck you, <laughs> but it is amazing. Five stars, five stars. I have no complaints. I love them so much. And lastly, you have Redeemed and Redeemed. This is my favorite book in the entire series. As much as I love Wrecked, this one topped it for me. It follows Santi and Chloe, and Santi is Maya's brother from the first book, so you do get to meet him in Throttled, which is why I say go in order. Basically in this one, there's a mistake that occurs that ruins Santi's entire career, and he decides to hide out from the world, and then Chloe comes along. Chloe recently just took an ancestry kit thing to like tell you who your parents are. What are those called? I think they're just called ancestry kit. Anyway, she takes one of those, and she finds out that her dad lives in Italy, so she decides, I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna meet this man. But in the middle of meeting this man, she stumbles into Santi and they start fake dating for reasons that are supposed to help them both. <laughs> Redeemed has fake dating in Grumpy Sunshine, unlike any other, unbeatable. Don't argue with me. Everything about this book was amazing. If five million stars, infinity stars, infinity. So that is the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. I love them all so much. And the fun part about this is you see the found family forming and all of it. You fall in love with these friendships as well as the relationships and as well as each individual character. It made me want to watch a fucking sport. Are you kidding? The only sport I watch is soccer. I love soccer. Football in Brazil, my is like, you know, people call it soccer here. Anyway, soccer is the only sport I watch, but I'm highly considering F1. And all of them have playlists, you guys. Every single one of them. Ready? Playlist and throttled. Oh, you're not convinced? Playlist and collided. I'm sorry, do you want more? Playlist and wrecked. I'm sorry, I started doing this and now I can't stop. Like I have to go, I have to finish it all the way through. Playlist and redeemed. <laughs> Did that not convince you enough? They're all so spicy in the best kind of spice emotional spice smut but make it emotional smut like when it's not just smut for the sake of being smut it's like done in an emotional way <laughs> doesn't even make any fucking sense can you tell how obsessed i am with this series by these tabs yes or no oh is that not enough to convince you let me read you the dedication the one in throttled says mom thank you for everything including the holy water you'll bathe me in after you read this book the dedication and collided to the sophie mitchells out there be different be genuine be you Oh, do we want to see the dedication for Erect too? Okay. To my anxious people out there, this one's for you. Don't let your worries win. And lastly, obviously, we have to read the dedication from Redeem. To those who dare to dream, even in their darkest days. Yes! Anyway, Shadi Bays, go read Dirty Air if you like F1 racers, if you like hot men who are soft for a specific girl, if you like Grumpy Sunshine, Forced Proximity, Fake Dating, Brothers Rival, Found Family, Spice romance, diversity, because not only are these books that amazing, but they're also diverse. Do you need any more? No, you don't. No, you don't. Go read this. Go read it now. <laughs> now let's talk about Lauren Asher's newest series, and that is The Dreamland Billionaires. Um, only two books are out right now. We do have a third one coming. The first one is The Fine Print. The second one is Terms and Conditions. Both of these are dual POV, and they follow three brothers, the Kane brothers. First book is Rowan. Second book is Declan. And the third book is Cal. He's already my favorite brother, and he doesn't even have a book. I've talked about the series so many times already but dreamland billionaires like i said follows three brothers the Kane brothers their grandfather passes away and he leaves them each with a letter of things that they have to complete to be able to get their inheritance each brother has a task in the fine print you have rowan and zara and rowan has to take over magic kingdom <laughs> rowan has to take over an amusement park dreamland Rowan has to go take care of the amusement park. So he goes to do just that. And there he meets a certain employee named Zara. So in this one, you have grumpy sunshine, workplace romance, forced proximity, boss employee. Zara is one of my favorite main characters ever. She's hilarious. She's amazing. She's so sweet. And Rowan is a very big grump, but so soft for Zara, y'all. And his groveling, his groveling gives. This book was amazing. Not a lot of people like the fine print. More people like terms and conditions, but I vouch for the fine print. I love this book. It is a five-star read for me. It was what introduced me to Lauren Asher. I will be forever thankful to the fine print. I love it so much. It has the Disney aspect to it, which I adore. Like I love seeing the magic of being set in an amusement park. Not many books are like that. I don't even know any other book that's like that. Disney, but make it spicy. <laughs> 
It also has diversity and you have disability rep with one of the side characters. I just love it so fucking much. I'm gonna read you one quote that is my favorite that I read it every single time I pick up this book. Her idea is well thought out. She chooses to highlight our more diverse characters who often get left behind in favor of our more popular princesses. Yes. And then you have terms and conditions and this is Declan and Iris and Declan's letter tells him that he has to not only get married but also have an heir for him to be able to get his inheritance. Get married and have a whole ass child, a baby, to be able to get his inheritance. If you ask me, the grip would be asking for way too much. Way too much. Like Rowan's, oh, you have to go lead an amusement park. Declan's, you have to have a kid and a wife right now. <laughs> Chill, Papa, chill. Anyway, Declan wants to be CEO of the media empire that the grandpa left behind. But like I said, there are some things he has to do before he's able to get that position. So he marries his assistant because no other woman will marry him and his assistant comes to the rescue. And that is Iris. My fucking queen, Iris, y'all. Forget Declan and pay attention to Iris because that is where it's fucking at. The whole reason that this book was amazing was Iris. Declan's great, okay? but he's no Iris. Anyway, this one is Marriage of Convenience. It is also fake dating, Grumpy Sunshine as well, Age Gap, Boss Employee, Workplace Romance. I have a lot in this one, actually. You also have an interracial couple in Declan and Iris. We love to fucking see it. Also, there's a little, little mentions in this book that will be very special if you read Lauren Asher's other books. These are both five stars for me. I love them so much. I can't pick which one's my favorite. I will say, in terms and conditions, Declan was way more of a dick than I expected him to be. <laughs> Like he was like, guy was mean, guy was mean, but he served either way. I would definitely recommend going in order with these as well, but they are standalone. So if you'd like to read them separately, you definitely can. But with all of that being said, these books are great. These books are amazing. They're both five stars, but the third book is gonna be the one. I have no complaints about the third book already and I haven't read it. The third one is gonna be Cal's book. And what we do know about it is that it's gonna be second chance romance. Yeah, that's it. That's all we know. Really. My favorite part about this series is the groveling is A1. Picture billionaires groveling and it has diversity, it has representation, it has spice. The romance is incredible. Just fucking read it. These are all of Lauren Asher's books that are out right now. I hope that I have Cal's book right there sooner rather than later. Also, if you are a fan of Dirty Air and you read these books, just know that there is also a kid series that is going to be released. It's going to be called The Dirty Airs. Like not air like a-I-R, like this one. No, airs, like H-E-I-R-S. Genius, right? I know you think it's genius, don't lie. Oh, hot damn, this is my jam. So Shadi Bays, I hope this video helped you a little bit. If you have never heard of Lauren Asher and you want to start reading some of her books or you maybe have read some, but you want to read the other ones or just if you're here for the vibes, I hope that the vibes were vibing. Read Lauren Asher, do yourself a favor. She can do no wrong. I will fight any of you for Lauren Asher. I will do it. Don't thry, try, try me. I was gonna sound so tough and then I said thry. Who was gonna tell me that I wasn't sounding tough regardless? I love you so much, Shadi Bays. Let me know any other authors you wanna see this with. I've read Sophie Lark's entire backlist. So if you guys want a video on Sophie Lark, let me know. I'm going through Devaney Perry's entire backlist. I will be done soon. So if you want that one, let me know. And if you haven't seen my Colleen one or my MZ one, Go watch those. I also have a full guide to the Addicted series as well, if you haven't watched that. I'm done plugging myself now. Have a good day, I love you so much. <laughs>